Hello everyone. What I'd like to demonstrate for you today is how to use Query Surge to validate the contents of a Tableau report. The first thing I'm going to do in order to demonstrate this is to navigate to a browser that's connecting to our Tableau server. And I'm going to bring up a specific report, in this case called Economy. And you can see the details of this report displays the S&P economic indicators. And the test that I'd like to create is I'd like to validate the inflation rate for any year that had a negative value. So you can see that's represented by the red bars displayed on the visualization. So I'd like to validate these values. If I hover over, you'll see the tooltip will give me the year and the rounded inflation rate. If I want to see the actual data that's behind this graph, what I can do is I can click the download button in Tableau and click the data button and that will show you the values that are uh, being represented in the graph that we're looking at. So I'd like to compare the data here to the data that's being used to render the report from the backend database. So to do that, let's navigate over to Query Search and we're going to go to our Query Pairs folder and I'm going to open up the query pair called Negative Inflation Rate. You'll see that each query pair has a source query and a target query. The source query is set up to connect to our data mart that is the database that stores the information that's being represented by the Tableau report. And you'll see it's a pretty basic query. We have a select clause. We're asking for the uh, year and the average inflation rate value from the economic indicators table where the average inflation rate value is less than zero and we're going to organize the data by the year in ascending order. On the target side we set up a connection to our Tableau server. You can review how this connection is configured in one of our previous videos. And you can see the query for the Tableau server connection looks like a standard SQL request. We have a select clause. We're requesting again the year of date and the average value. But instead of querying it from a specific database table, we have a function here called Tableau report. And this function has two parameters, which we're going to show you how to configure in a moment. We have the same filtering and the same sorting mechanism using the where and order by clause. Notice that we're using a cast function to take the data because the data coming back from Tableau is always going to be in a string format. So you want to cast it to match it to the values that are going to be represented against the backend database. Now the Tableau report function will require two values. It will require the information to know which report you're referencing as well as the visualization that's displayed on that report. You can get the report by going to your Tableau instance and taking the portion of the URL that specifies the report name. So anything past the server, it's a view, in this case views regional economy. Uh, I'm going to take copy that out of Tableau and I'm going to put that into my function. And the second parameter is the visualization that's being displayed on that specific report. So in this case we want the visualization called S&P Economic Indicators. You can get the specific visualization name by clicking the Edit button in Tableau. And what you want is the corresponding sheet name that is displayed when you select it. So you can see in this example, S&P Returns by Decade highlights this graph, which is what I'm looking for. So if you right click and hit Rename, you can copy the name directly from this window and then I can take that and bring it back uh, into our query search instance. And that's pretty much it. Once you've 
created both queries. You specified the information on the Tableau report you want. You'd make your save uh, changes and then you're ready to go ahead and run the query pair. So what the query is now doing is it's making a request to the data mart, pulling that data back, simultaneously making a request to the Tableau server, pulling that information back, and then validating the two uh, result sets and comparing to data. And what you'll see in this case is we had 12 records returned both from the source and target, uh, which means there were 12 years that had negative inflation rates. And you see we had one failure. So in order to investigate that failure, we're going to click the View Query Results button. And I'm going to make this a little bit larger so we can see it. So you have your source results, your target results, and then you can analyze the failure by clicking the Failures tab. And I'm going to click on the side-by-side -side view. And what you'll see is we have an error for the year 1938. The backend system is expecting an inflation rate of around 9%, but the report is only displaying an inflation rate around 2%. And of course, we can validate that by taking a look at the report, going to the year 1938, and you'll see it's only 2%. So we have a discrepancy between the database and the report. And of course, what we'd have to do is uh, take this discrepancy back to the development team and see if we can track down uh, where there is a problem. And that demonstrates how you can use query search to validate content in a Tableau report.